Hi everyone and welcome to Grimes Time. I'm your host, Joe Grimes, and with me as always, Evan Malgrave. I'm um, sorry about the break. I hope you all had a very nice Thanksgiving. Evan, how was yours? It was good. It was good. I mean, uh, food was lousy. It's lousy every year. Uh, my aunt's not really much of a cook. Uh, she can barely keep it together enough to stay on her feet all afternoon. Um, but uh, she's the only one of us with a dishwasher, so we typically have it over there. You know, when we went around and said what we were thankful for, I said, uh, gravy, because this bird's drier than hell. Uh, she, didn't, she didn't like that one too much. But um, you know, it was just great. It was great to get together with the family, see everybody again. Um, you know, see, I had a couple rough patches here and there. You know, a couple of my uncles got a little too lubed up. Um, you know, ended up wrestling around, playing grab bass. They knocked over my grandfather's remains and ground them into the carpet. But uh, The couch fire grandfather? Yeah, the one that died in the couch fire. Um, but we were able to get most of them back into the dirt devil. And that's actually a nicer urn than the plastic bag we had them in. So we just put that back up on the mantle. Um, that was nice. You know, it was a nice touching moment. You know, life gave us lemons and, you know, we got my grandfather a new urn. So it was a great Thanksgiving. How's yours? It was a little different <clears throat> this year. My dad and I haven't really been seeing eye to eye on my uh, life decisions. He doesn't agree that I should be fathering Clarice's child. Not that it's any of his concern. He disinvited me from the Thanksgiving dinner this year, so I had my own dinner at Boston Market, and uh, it was uh, it was it was really good. It was really. Who did really you eat with? Uh, the staff. Um, I uh, I went alone, and actually I was the only one there, so I kind of felt like I was the king of the castle, and very generous helpings of slabs of turkey meat, Salisbury. I mean, they have everything there, so a lot better than anything I'd get at any of my family's Thanksgiving. So, you know, the point is, next year I'm going to have my own family do whatever I want. And we'll probably go to Boston Market, or if Clarice wants to, uh, to cook for me and the little baby, then good. Then that'd be great, too. Uh, point is, no matter what we do, uh, it'll be none of my dad's business. I had no idea you were eating alone, man. I mean, you know, you're always welcome to come eat at you know, me and my family's. Yeah, I know. Uh, this week we reviewed Let There Be Light, the long-awaited directorial debut of Kevin Sorbo. Rumors have been swirling around Hollywood for a long time. When is Kevin finally going to get behind the camera? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people thought he'd come right out of the gate with a live-action Hercules film. Um, but there was rumors for a while when he was gaining weight that he might be doing the Kirby Pocket biopic. Uh, those rumors were squashed, though, because, uh, you know, he's not an African-American. Well, he made the right choice with this one because this is an edgier seat, action-packed, nitro-fueled Christian recruitment film like you have never, ever seen before. Kevin Sorbo plays a drunk, atheist writer, Seven Corbo, author of the best-selling novel, A Boarding God. Yeah, and as a, a lifelong, die-hard Kevin Sorbo fan, uh, this film's a Sorbo sorbet. I mean, it just has every flavor of Sorbo that you want, all in one package. I mean, it's got the killer hair, the killer bod, uh, sword fights. I mean, this it just has everything. And not to mention a scene-stealing, star-turning role by everyone's favorite American, Sean Hannity. Unreal. I mean, this guy just commands the oh screen. Oh, my gosh. And I would like to see him maybe in more films. Like, give him his own, like, action franchise, like a Jack Reacher type, you know? You know, like, yeah. not quite James Bond, not quite Jason Bourne, but more in that like Jack Reacher, transporter type, you know. Yeah, yeah. You, I wouldn't mind seeing him in a Fast and Furious movie. Now there's huh? an idea. And you know what? He's like an older guy, so maybe give him like a cool older car. Like he has like an IROC. I mean, Sean Hannity uh, in an IROC Z28 chasing Vin Diesel, I mean, take my fucking money. Sean Hannity bombing down the freeway after VD. Come on. Listening to Foreigner? I'm, oh my like, gosh. That'd be sick. Stars across the board for me. I'm going to give this, you know, A plus, of course. Yeah, I mean, I have to agree. I mean, this is maybe the best film I've seen in 10 years. This might be the best film I've ever seen. There you go. I mean, uh, and I'm not a man of God, but I am a man of Sorbo. And I'm going to give this movie an A as well. An A for uh, abort um, any idea that you might have of this not being the best film of the year. So... Okay, that's Grimes' time. Mm -hmm.